We need to measure it and mark it for cutting. Right. It's so fun when you get to do something for the first time that you've never done before. Yeah, come over here and do it though. <laughs> whoa, whoa. The force is strong with this one. Let's fast forward to the emergency yeah. room. Whoa. <laughs> Luke, I am your mother. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay because you're only supposed to go halfway through it, remember? Yeah. Like that, yeah. Oh, wow. Let me get from off. the other side. It's hard because I can't like get very deep. I have to just do a little bit. I think I need to go a little deeper from this end. Go more I? vertical then. Oh. Now I think it'll kind of hold the blade to go a little bit deeper. This thing is awesome. What did we pay for this at the thrift store? Like $2.50. $2.50? That was two fifty. Well spent. I know. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. They had no idea that they could use it for something so cool. Right? <laughs> We're making furniture. Okay, ready. That's awesome. Dude, that's sick. Oh my God. That's that so not a bad cut at all. No, that first using that thing as a straight edge was the greatest idea. The box? Yeah. All right. Okay. So I just take need it to out measure for a test. off again. Oh yeah, you want to? Okay, hold on. I don't know, it's not bad. I know, I think it'll work really well. Sit on it, see how it looks. Oh, it sticks to my pants. <laughs> it's sticky. Foam is sticky. Like as far as a kitchen or dining room chair goes, this is as comfortable as any dining room chair I've ever sat on. much easier to get in and out on this fabric than on that foam. Everything slips and slides easier. That's really nice. We went through several iterations of this fabric or that fabric, yeah. this color, that color, and in the end the cabinets and everything worked really well with the fabric we chose and it's the most exotic fabric and because we waited like two years <laughs> to buy it, it was on clearance and we got it at like a fraction, like a tiny fraction of what the original yeah, price like 50 was. Yeah, like 50% off. It was more than that. It was like 90% off. Yeah. Because it was, it was like 60, it was like, wasn't it like $60 a yard or something? It was something really high. Really expensive. And we yeah. paid like 15 a yard for it. Oh, really? Or, or Yeah, I mean, crazy less. We have <laughs> to make this, like, I can't make any mistakes in my measuring <clears throat> and cutting of this fabric because there's no going back to the store and getting more now. They're sold out. It's gone. This is it. This is the last of this fabric. So don't mess make this it up. Work. No pressure. <laughs> right? <laughs> ah! I feel like I have a chainsaw or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, it's like an eighth of an inch short or so, almost a quarter of an inch short. So it's a good thing there was a lot of extra foam on this roll because one of mine ended up being cut a little too short somehow for some reason. So I'm cutting a new one of the 15 inch pieces. Somebody said your filming was better than mine, so I'm making a huge effort to do good <laughs> filming today. Phase one, complete. <laughs> That's very exciting. Are you guys ready to see the fabric we chose for the dinette? Oh, you've already seen it on the thumbnail. This is our crazy Dr. Seuss ridiculous fabric that we chose for the dinette. I gotta lay this out and see if my measurements were right in the amount of fabric that I bought. Oh my gosh, this fabric looks crazy when it's all spread out in a gigantic piece like this. But I think for a couple of dinette cushions, I think it might turn out pretty cool. I hope so. It's too late now. There's no earthly way of knowing with which upholstery we are going. Oh. <laughs> snozzberries taste like snozzberries. The Wonka baited <laughs> upholstery fabric, huh? Okay, I've sewn before, but I haven't sewn box cushions before. Which, by the way, if you're needing to make cushions for your schoolie or van or whatever you're building, and you need to Google search this, they're called boxed, B-O-X-E-D, cushions. And there's lots of tutorials online for doing everything that I'm doing here today. That's how I figured out how to do it. Again, I've sewn before. <laughs> but I haven't really sewn this before. Don't, I hope you're not cutting through our sheets. I hope I'm not either. That'd be pretty crazy. But look at those lines, aren't they amazing? They're excellent lines. I'm all about accurate, accurate lines. <laughs> One more over here. Look, I'm almost done making cushion bottoms. Man, that was quick and easy. I mean, you're amazing. See, I learned this in kindergarten. I could color on the lines and cut on the lines. You're amazing, my homes. Okay, you ready for some more of your part? What do I gotta do? Same thing again, new measurements. I'm all ready for it. 15 by 22, 16 by 23, 16 by 23. No, 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 24 and 3 quarters by 16. By 16, right. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Between the two of us, I hope we can get this right. <laughs> tonight until we get the rest of our supplies and finish this project. Yeah, the zippers. We got the wrong zippers. All right, these are the last sections of fabric to be cut out. These are the um, pieces that will have the zipper in them. I've made some mistakes measuring, but I'll tell you what, I am an absolute nutcase when it comes to accuracy. You ha you're an absolute accuracy freak in some ways, and then yeah. in others, you're like a super slob. Thanks. <laughs> I live with you, so I know. Says the lady that waits two weeks to do the dishes every week. <laughs> I wait two weeks every week? Yes. <laughs> I am the queen of procrastination. <laughs> yes. Okay, so 
We have all the pieces we need for the zippers now, and we have a piece left over to make an extra pillow. So fancy. By the way, I watched um, several videos, but I felt that the best one was called, I think it's how to sew a box cushion with a zipper, and it's by online fabric stores. And the lady's name is Kara. And um, she did a really simple step-by-step -step explanation that I thought would be useful whether you know how to sew or not. Okay. Excellent. Man, what a process this is turning out. What a team we are. Great That's team. true. Super great team. Wonder Twins, activate Forma <laughs> Fabric. Forma Cinematographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, that was a bummer. False start. You want this? First try, oh my baby. God. Woo! I still got it. That was amazing. That's a really hard. Because we're using like upholstery thread. Yeah, it's, so it's like twine. It's, I'm sewing with twine right now. Totally yeah. nailed that needle, even as blind as I am. So backstory on the sewing machine. Yeah, you might think that because I know how to sew, this is mine. Not the case. This is Mike's sewing machine. Mike has all the tools, obviously. All the tools, including so sewing. Mike bought this. Carrie's not used to using this like she is her own sewing machine. Looks like the sewing in the basement video because the lighting is so like dramatic. <laughs> you got the it's like it's film noir sewing, <laughs> with dramatic shadows, and you're sewing on a on a on a mob boss's desk in the dark. <laughs> I think I have to sp split them now. Yeah, you cut that on the fold. She just sewed that see the sew line. Now she's cutting and opening that up for the fancy zipper that's going to get sewed right in there. Very exciting! Okay, all four are cut and ready for the next step, which I believe is zipper time! Dun, 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 dun. So this is that is long the, enough for that? This is the second set of zippers I've purchased, you guys. The first set of zippers I bought, wait, let me show you. The first set of zippers I bought were totally perfect brown with gold, but it says right here on the tab, separating, which means it comes apart at the bottom, like for a jacket. So obviously these aren't gonna work. I have to see if I can take them back to Hobby Lobby. We had to order some other zippers online. And let me just tell you, Finding 24 to 28 inch zippers was not easy. Okay, here's where we might want to use an iron and press these open. Yeah. Okay, I have an iron, but I don't have an ironing board, people. This is just what we have to do. And Mike doesn't have an ironing board either. <laughs> it's like the one thing we don't own. We had, we just got rid of it fairly recently too. Yeah, I just gave it to Goodwill not long ago. I was like, I'll never use this again. Right. <laughs> Little did I know. Time to attach the zippers to these zipper panels. And they go upside down, right? That's yeah, you put the face of the zipper down against your seam that you've pressed open. This is so clever what's happening here. And when, when she finally, like, after she sews these, the next step will make so much sense. Okay, so, and yeah, I know that when you guys watch those ladies on YouTube do this, they're professional seamstresses and they don't use pins. There's no shame in using pins, people. There's no shame. I've never actually used a pin before, but that's just me. Stop the pin shaming. <laughs> don't let it happen to you. Yeah. People that use pins or don't know what they're doing. Whatever, it's smart to hold your work in place while you're sewing. Makes it so much easier. So much easier. So <laughs> <laughs> you're hilarious. 
Jesus. You are taking my job. You're getting all corny behind the camera over there. Okay. We're ready for the next step. OMG. Step number 19 or whatever we're on right now. Let's do this. <laughs> Change the foot on the sewing machine to the zipper foot. With the zipper foot close to the zipper, sew down the length, making sure the center of the zipper... Oh, look at that. She did start from... Okay, yeah, she started from that end. I'm not really 100% sure about this, you guys. I'm just winging it. I'm just doing it anyway. It's been a long time since I've sewn on the zipper. Whoa. I'm really glad I pinned this. Right? <laughs> Me too, now. <laughs> when it goes fast like that, I get immediately get nervous. That looks really good. Those two parallel lines, super nice. Good. Oh, pinning is the way to go, you guys. So much less stress when you pin and everything is held in place. Okay, where's the seam ripper? This part is supposed to be the exciting part. I'm feeling a little discouraged right now because of how badly my sewing went. Like, you would not know that I've sewn before, ever. This looks like my first freaking time. Wow! What is going on? I should have been able to stick this in there and just go right. and just rip the whole seam. And I can't. I think it's this uber thick upholstery fabric and uber thick upholstery thread. This makes it difficult. You want me to hold it for you? Yes. Like this? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. It works. It just doesn't look pretty. Baby. For all it's worth, I think you did a hell of a job. Well, thanks. I took a whole seam all the way down one side of the zipper out and I'm redoing that sucker. How come? Because the tension was messed up and the thread looked bad and then in one place I found the thread had actually popped. That whole seam was just a mess. We had, it was a do-over. How's it going now? So far, so good. That's so awesome. <laughs> I did, I, I forgot to move the zipper thingy again. That's part of, part of what was messed up before. Oh, that so sucks. <laughs> Actually, it's not so bad. <laughs> see, that was the best Clean. one that I've done this whole time. Let's see how this bad boy works. Can't even tell there's a zipper there. Da, 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 da. That's amazing. This is my best one. Okay. What next? Billy Mac is a detective down in Texas. You know he knows just exactly what the facts is. Okay, so I've just sewn this extra little kind of a pocket thing that goes over where the zipper pull is. So it hides the zipper pull, right? And then when you zip it back up, right into that little pocket. So it's just hidden away and tucked away nicely. Very nice. Cool, huh? Now I just have to figure out how to do it on the other end once it's like getting attached to the square oh, part of the cushion right. seat. Everything, everything gets more complicated from here on out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, there's the sneak preview of what it's going to look like. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. 
Okay, let's see if I can get the other piece on because this is going to be the hardest bit of sewing there is. This is where the lines or marks are going to be so drastically important. Well, you'll be happy to know that these last two marks have matched up better than any of the marks on yes. the whole project. <laughs> yes! Uh, nailed it! Oh, last few inches. Okay, ready for the turn? Ready for the turn. What? Oh my god. I just happen to have this pillow right here. Wow! What a coinky dink. Let's see if it's the right size. Yeah. It's really stiff bone, man. That was a fail. Who knew this was going to be this hard? Ow! Funny bone! Ooh, snap, like electricity. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Look at oh that! Oh my god, to. You know, that is that? not bad. Let's go see how it fits. Okay, let's try it. What? That is awesome. High five. So good. Oh, it's going to be kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. What does it look like when you walk in? Look at that. It's pretty cute, huh? It does. And it just, it matches our awesome theme of the bus, really. Oh, God. You know what this means? Now I got to go do another one. Three more. <laughs> I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm like mentally exhausted just from take a one break. pillow. Do one a day. And she's coming in on the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the last side on pillow number what? Two. All right. Dose. Okay. Let's see how we did. Oh my God. Number two. I told yeah. you. I told you. Awesome. How come that side's longer than that side? What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How do they taco it? You're, tr you're trying to burrito it. Gotta do a taco. Yeah, I am into burritos though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you I like burritos better than tacos. Okay, this one's Okay. Oh snap. Okay, it's not perfect. It's pretty darn good. But it'll do. Yeah. Yeah, once I put the batting in there, I think it's gonna plump them up yeah, just does. a little bit more. It totally does. Well, I wish but I can say that I would have the other bottom two cushions done by then, but you know what? I'm exhausted. Tired of sewing. Yeah, and I'm afraid that if I keep pushing myself to keep going, that I'm going to start making mistakes, and then I'm going to be getting upset. Like, I can't afford to ruin any of this fabric making mistakes because I'm too tired to sew, so. Definitely. So. So. <laughs> I'm going to take the rest of the day off from sewing. I think that's a good idea. Strong work, day one. Woohoo! This is not day one. Of sewing. Yeah, but day two of the process. Yes, but day one, day one of sewing. Okay, we'll have it your way. Good job, everybody. Take rest day off. We'll get back here tomorrow. Maybe start a little early tomorrow. Good job. <laughs> okay, you guys. Mike's back at work today, so it's just me. 
but I only have two more cushions to go. I feel a little bit more practiced at it now that I've made the first two. So I'm gonna try and just see if I can get these two done because I know it'll be a fun surprise for him to come home to tomorrow. So as long as there's no complications with the sewing machine or anything like that, I'm hoping I can just get these two done. Okay, the zipper wraps around this side and into this little pocket right here. See that? That's the little extra thing that I learned from watching a different YouTube video um, made by Kim's Upholstery. I think it was, the title was something about making, how to make a box cushion and the channel was Kim's Upholstery. But so that's where I got the idea. First of all, I have to sew two strips of boxing together to make a longer strip to go around the bigger push cushions. Then when you open it, it's a longer strip to go all the way around the big cushion. Now I'm sewing the zipper panel onto the really long strip of fabric with the right sides together. Time to sew the whole thing around one of the square pieces of fabric and I have to make sure I get it the right direction for which side is 22 inches and which side is 24 inches so that I make sure the zipper goes in the back of one of the, of the cushions. time for the last step in this process. Did you see that just now? I thought I was gonna like whisk this out of the bag all quick and I went <laughs> <laughs> it's like barely coming out. You're gonna have to do some working out. Uh, Shira, the princess of power! <laughs> <laughs> well sorta. <laughs> she can open a package of batting. <laughs> Woo! Okay, you guys, we're gonna try putting just one layer of batting on each side of this cushion and then put it in the cover and see how it looks. And if it's not puffy enough, then we'll do another layer on each side. I've been excited to do this spray foam adhesive. Oh, and by the way, if you watch the same video that I watched and she says um, you have to use a spray, an adhesive that's specifically made for foam, but she doesn't explain why. But while I was at Joanne Fabrics, I brought it up and the lady told me it's because regular spray adhesive will melt and dissolve your foam. So you don't wanna make that mistake. Make sure you get one that says on the can of a foam for foam and fabric is what it usually says. Okay, here we go. Wow, it looks cool when it comes out. It, it makes this like wave like that. Yeah, pattern. it did. Man, it sticks instantly. Immediately you feel it sticking. And you don't get a second chance to get it straight. Like it goes on like super glue. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. I have a feeling we're gonna need thicker foam, but that's me. I think so too, and the fact that this is still sticky, I feel like I should have just cut another piece and be putting it on top. Okay, let's go cut some more pieces. That's a lot. That's a lot more. 
Oh, I like your idea there. Right? I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm giving it a go. Like if I get all the corners matched up right here. A workout getting the foam inside these covers. I'm all out of breath right now. How does it look? It did fill it out really nicely. It didn't make it bold. Okay, so here's a tip, you guys, when you're using that spray adhesive to glue your batting to your foam, wear disposable rubber gloves if you have them because my fingers were so crazy glued up we had to use what did we use uh mineral spirits we had to use mineral spirits to get the glue off all my fingers that glue does not mess around this stuff is never coming off i tell you okay almost there and now for my favorite part the zipper yeah, look at that. And then my zipper tucks down into its little pocket so you can't even see it in there. Okay. We get to try cool stuff now. I know. We get to see everything fitting in its place. I'm so excited about this part. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. They look cute, don't they? So good. It's a cute little dinette. Oh my gosh, I love it. Trey, comfortable. <laughs> oh I love it. Okay, let's try it in sleeper position. Ooh, sleeper we haven't, position. We haven't tried the cushions to see if they fit to make the whole thing into a bed. Right, right. Converts to a bed in seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. And then the two little ones go in the middle. It, that is a perfect fit. Look at that. Nice bed. All right, hope you test here, ready? I am a five foot 11er. You can comfortably sleep on this. <laughs> I see all those pillows. Get comfy. Oh yeah, this is for quarantine for COVID friends. Right. I think you guys can't come in the back. You sleep out here. Okay, let's demonstrate sofa mode. Sofa mode. We have four pillows for sofa mode, but we think it's gonna take five. So wait, you have to alternate. Look, that is so. It, oh, man, I've been waiting to see this. See, we could make it work with four pillows, but with five pillows, it would be just right. Now we can have like friends over we could comfortably seat eight people in here or we could set up a folding table in the middle and have a thanksgiving dinner here i think we're getting a lot of multiple uses out of this obviously it's probably going to be a dinette most of the time but the fact that we can make it another couch or a sleeper and sleep two people in here just i don't know <laughs> Oh, off the hook. It's so yeah, good. I love it. I love that we it's have just... versatility going on. We had to do the math to where the two cushions that are on the backs of the seats added up to the length of the table, right? Yep. You had to do math to get it to all work. <laughs> so being able to have multiple people in the bus, I never, I never really thought about like how that would how would we accomplish that or, or if it was going to be important to us in some way or another you know 
it always just felt like, like, oh, yeah, I guess we could turn it into a couch. That'd be kind of cool. And then when I thought about it, like, wow, we could have a whole bunch of people over there yeah. and just have this fun little get-together. Yeah. Imagine if we're at, you know, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous and it's a rainy day or something. And where yeah. do you go? You know, everybody needs to go inside and then that's boring and dull. But you could have a whole group of people to entertain in here. Yeah. It's like, this was one of my more favorite projects because it had... Because you didn't have to do it. No, I'm talking about the whole <laughs> dinette. I love it. So if you guys like what we did, give us a like, comment, tell us what you think. I know not everybody's going to love this fabric. There's going to be a dividing line on this fabric, just like there was on the yeah. color of the like, bus. Like, oh, your cushions are great, <laughs> Yeah, but... some people are not going to like this print, and I get that. This print is not for everyone, but we love the way it turned out and the way it looks in our dinette with this little old-fashioned light. It has this, like, um old world coffee shop kind of look and we love it and if you haven't subscribed yet like what's going give on? us a sub and ring that bell so right you here. see what we're up to next <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we'll see you guys next time we love having you guys along for this journey we're almost done Woo! <laughs> that was perfect was it recording <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awful if oh. it